Welcome everyone, here is the brand new way to remove the shortcut notification in your iOS 16 iPhone. So this is the old way, you can see the annoying notification is going to show up. The new way, no notification, this is so cool. So I'm going to move to this other iPhone here. This is an iPhone 10. you can see running the new iOS 16. So the first step is we're going to open up the shortcuts app. From here, we're going to go to the home page of shortcuts by sliding back. And we're going to create a new folder. Let's tap on the create. And we're going to call this apps. This is because in order to have one app shortcut, we need to create two shortcuts. So things may get a little bit cluttered. So tap on add. Tap on the apps folder. And now we're going to tap on the plus for the shortcut here. We're going to tap on add action. And you're going to search for no notification. You're going to see show notification. Tap on this one. Then you're going to search for open app. Tap on this one and then select the app you would like to use. Next, we're going to rename the shortcut just so we you know, don't clutter things up. We're going to re uh, rename this to open and then the app name, so app store, and then we're going to tap on done. Now we're going to create a second shortcut and we're just going to add action here. You're going to search for run shortcut and then the shortcut you're going to select is going to be open and then the app name. We're then going to tap on the arrow here rename and we're going to rename this to run open and then the app name. This is just so we understand what shortcut does what. Now we're going to tap on the share icon here. We're then going to find where it says add to home screen. And so here, real quick, don't just leave the video and do this because this is like a quarter of the way of the tutorial. So there's a lot more to do. But we're just going to rename the icon. From here, you can tap into the empty space, choose photo, and you can choose a custom app icon if you want to. I have one on my iPhone 12 mini, but you know, that's not on the iPhone 10. And then we're going to tap on add. So right now, things are not going to work, okay? When we tap on this, you're going to see that run icon. So first of all, we need to allow this permission you're going to see a notification and we just need to run this shortcut a bunch of times, okay? Let's run it five to ten times, all right? But you're just going in, going out, you'll get a bunch of notifications, those are needed. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings app. From here, we're going to find where it says screen time. If screen time was off, turn it on, then repeat the previous step. We're then going to find where it says see all activity and you should see we scroll down shortcuts but look at this i can't tap into shortcuts okay first of all second of all you may not even see the shortcut icon show up so if that's the case you want to activate the control center by either sliding down from the top right or sliding up from the bottom long press on focus and just make sure that if any do not disturb is on turn it off if it was off, just tap on the toggle to turn it on and off again. Okay, so all focuses are now turned off. We're then just going to slide. If we can, let's go day, try and slide it back. There we go. And then we'll go back to the day. So you see where it says 60 here, just slide this one, slide it back. We're then going to close out the settings app. And we're going to run this shortcut some more times, okay? So just keep it running, all right? Run, run, run. I think that's good. Now let's go back into settings. Screen time. See your activity. And this time we now have the arrow option available. Okay, so it's quite simple. Tap on the arrow and then turn off allow notifications. Now before you run off, this allow notifications toggle will turn back on every time you restart your device. Okay. So every time you restart, you must turn this toggle back off inside of the shortcut settings. 
my advice is just try and prevent your device from you know dying and prevent restarting and now when we open up the app store it's checkmate gg's apple don't mess with saunders tech every single time it's going to open up and the notification will show up now you can see this little notification shows up for split seconds depending on your iphone model you may see that show up or not it's the, it's the wrong shortcut one second so if i run this one here you can see absolutely nothing shows up whereas a little thing shows up here so the newer the iphone model the less of that animation you're going to see so on my iphone 12 mini it runs so fast there is no little notification the, as the iphone 10 is slower you're going to get that small notification pop up okay so the newer the iphone the less of that notification will show up so it's quite simple once you get it down however it does take well a lot of time when you do create new shortcuts you do not need to go through the process of going into screen time and turning it off again because well, it's already off and with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye